Hi everyone, here is our math puzzle for today. This is about facts in a whole puzzle. Let's say there are five holes in a line. One of them is occupied by a fax. We do not know if it is hole number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five. But each night, the fax moves to a neighboring hole, either to the left or to the right. And then each morning, you get to inspect a hole of your choice. What strategy would ensure that the fax is eventually caught? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this interesting math puzzle. Now let's solve this problem together. What we are looking for here is the worst case scenario that will ensure that the fax is caught. Because if you are lucky, then we'll be able to guess that the fax is, let's say, in hole number one, and right at day number one, we solve the puzzle. First, we'll make an assumption. We'll assume that the fax is in the even number of hole. That means in day number one, we have two options, either number two or number four, based on our assumption that the fax is in an even hole number. So we need to make our decision. Let's say our decision is to choose hole number two. So we inspect hole number two, and if you are lucky, the puzzle is solved at day number one. But for the worst case scenario, let's say the fax is in hole number four, based on our assumption. So what happens next? The fax moves to the left or to the right. So on day number two, the fax could be at hole number five or hole number three. So we have two options, three and five. And let's say our decision is to inspect hole number three. So we go to hole number three on day number two. If you're lucky, the puzzle is solved in day number two. But assuming the worst case scenario, the fax would be in hole number five. And so for day number three, the only possible move for the fax is to go to hole number four. So for day number three, our option is hole number four. And so we go to hole number four. If our assumption on day number one that the fax is in the even number, then the fax would be caught on day number three. The fax is in hole number four. But assuming the worst case scenario, let's say the fax again is not in hole number four. What does that mean? That means that our assumption that the fax is in the even number on day number one is wrong. What is true is the fax is in the odd whole number in day number one. That is our conclusion if on day number three, the fax is not in whole number four. So it is now a fact that the fax is in the whole number in day number one, then on day number two, it moves to the neighboring hole, so it should be in an even number of hole. And then on day number three, it moves again to the neighboring hole. And that means that on day number three, the fax is in the hole with odd number. So that means on day number four, the fax must be in the even hole number. And this is no longer an assumption. This is now a fact. So on day number four, we now know that the fax is in even number of hole. And this is no longer an assumption. So our options, again, is to select either number two or number four. And let's say our decision is to select number two. But assuming again the worst case scenario, the fax is in hole number four. And the fax options are either to go to the left or to go to the right on day number five. And so our options also is to select either number three or number five. And we decided to go to hole number three. But assuming again the worst case scenario, the fax is in hole number five. And so what are the options of the fax? The fax has only one option, and that is to go to hole number four. And so on day number six, we know that the option is number four, and we go to number four, and we are able to trap the fax. So looking back now at our strategy, we start at day number one, assuming that the fax is in the even number, and we select hole number two, then hole number three, and hole number four. If the fax is not in hole number four, that means our assumption that the fax is in even number of hole on day number one is wrong. What we accomplished so far on day number three is to establish the fact that the fax is indeed in even number of hole on day number four. And based on that guarantee, then we follow the same procedure, go to hole number two, number three, and number four. And by following this step, we are able to trap the fax at hole number four. And the beauty of this problem is that this can be extended to any number of holes. And the guaranteed worst case scenario is computed using the formula 2 times n minus 2, where n is the number of holes. So in this particular problem, our n is 5 because there are 5 holes. And so if n is 5, this becomes 5 minus 2, which is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6, and that 6 is this day number 6. 
Isn't it cool? And so this problem is now solved. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next puzzle. Bye for now.